interest in microgrids is growing, and to help users understand and design systems that best match their needs, Sandia National Laboratories has developed the Microgrid Design Toolkit, available free through the Department of Energy. It has been downloaded several hundred times uh, from unique users. The feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. There's a clear need for this capability. One of the many advantages of microgrids is they can provide independent power generation and storage when the commercial electric grid is compromised. But designing the right system is challenging. Sandia's team developed advanced search algorithms and is leveraging the lab's expertise in modeling, simulation, and optimization to create a design environment unlike any other. I think the market potential is uh, in the billions of dollars in the next uh, five to ten years. So I hope that you know, with this tool, would allow the community to, to be able to understand more about microgrid and how to design a microgrid that cost effective for multiple uh, communities, uh, university uh, bases, remote communities, uh, everywhere in the U.S. That's really um, what we like to do as a national laboratory, tackle very difficult problems and use technologies that we have been developing for years for different applications and then find uh, a place where really there is no substitute for the private sector uh, or a solution that is commercially available. Early concepts and prototypes of the toolkit were developed for the U.S. Departments of Defense and Energy. Approximately uh, in the range of 2010, there was momentum building to um, instantiate a microgrid or one or more microgrids at DOD facilities to exercise and understand uh, the challenges associated with them and evaluate how well the benefits, the potential benefits can be realized. The microgrid design toolkit was in its infancy at that time but provided us the quantitative underpinnings that we needed to confidently present solutions to the military, Department of Energy, Department of Homeland Security to indicate that these are appropriate designs, appropriate amounts of generation to have on site, ready to power your loads in case of an emergency. After proving its viability, the team was charged with making the software user-friendly and easily available. We were contracted by the Department of Energy to take that capability and make it usable so that it could be provided free of charge to utility companies, A&E firms, anyone who had an interest in microgrids, designing microgrids, studying the impacts of microgrids. Designers need insight into factors like resiliency, efficiency, security, reliability, tying in renewables, and costs. Navigating this complex landscape is key to a wider adoption of microgrids. Typically don't know. Uh, what your options are, you can't really communicate them very well, you can't do very much analysis on them because it is a complicated space. But when you can say we have done our homework, we have worked with stakeholders, we have gathered the critical data, and we have now come up with a description of the best way uh, to design this project, then those projects become more realistic. Microgrid Design Toolkit uh, has some unique opportunities to understand the design space, the trade-offs, um, and uh, the, the issues associated with um, unexpected loss of equipment, unexpected changes in performance, the stochastic, the random nature of any engineered system. The Sandia team is working with several interested parties, including the city of Hoboken, New Jersey. They had asked us for uh, microgrid design support as a result of their experience with the hurricanes uh, that flooded an awful lot of their conventional electric power after that, using Hurricane Sandy recovery funds, they asked us to perform a study to design a backup microgrid power system to endure a particular level of sea swell under hurricane conditions to ensure that at least what they deemed critical facilities within the city could be powered. The U.S. Marine Corps is another collaborator. They have a real need to power as efficiently as possible. Uh, because the uh, delivery of fuel to these forward operating stations is dangerous. 
And so if they can reduce their fuel utilization, if they can increase the use of renewable technologies, if they can increase the efficiency with which they operate their diesel generators, they can reduce convoys and save lives. For United Parcel Service, it's about reliable power to sort and deliver millions of dollars worth of products every day. So they have a profound need, uh, financial need, to make sure their operations are stable, that their energy supply is stable, they can keep the planes flying, they can keep the sort belts running. And so we are in the process of helping them design a backup power system using the microgrid design toolkit. I'm very excited about this tool because it's integrating multiple assets that are needed to promote the technology development for microgrids, not just for the use of the commercial products, but also for you know, our stakeholders like military and international. So, you know, the completion of this tool is very important and it's uh, very influential for multiple markets.